Hello everyone. So today I will show you that how you can make a phylogenetic tree by using a software that is Mega 11. So first of all, you need to install this software to your system. So for this, just open your browser and search for the software that is Mega 11 and this site that is www.megasoftware.net is the site. So just click to enter here and now you have to choose the configuration of your system like if you are using the window system then you have to choose window and if you are using like other systems so you have to choose the operating system according to your PC or laptop. Now this is the you can say bit system. So you have to choose either your system is 32 bit or 64 bit and after choosing all the configuration just click download button and after clicking the download button agreement will be appear so you have to accept it and once you accept the agreement now the next page will open in this page you have to enter certain your information like your country what kind of institution is you are a researcher instructor student professor or other and you are going to use this for a university college research institute industry government or other after entering all this information you just have to click the download button and your setup will be downloaded. So I am not going to download the software anymore because I have already downloaded this software Mega 11. So after downloading and installing the software in your system just open the software Mega 11 here. In order to make the phylogenetic tree you need sequences among which you create the phylogenetic tree. So for the demo purpose, I have already downloaded a single sequence from the NCBI. So in order to get other sequences, we have to perform the blast of this sequence for getting other sequences. So just copy this sequence and open the NCBI website and paste your just go to the sorry, just go to the blast option first and choose the correct blast option. So this is the DNA nucleotide sequence. So I'm going to click on the nucleotide blast and just paste your sequence which you just copied here and now click this button that is blast button. After clicking this button, so the result will just in front of you. The time take depend upon the query of length and other factors. So now results are just in front of us here in order to get the other sequences so first uncheck this box and now select the sequences like i am just selecting first five sequences only you can select as much as you can for just demo purpose i am going to select only five sequences now click here on this button that is download and click faster aligned sequence a new file will be downloaded to your system so you can see that now these are all the five sequences which you just selected. So these are those sequences among which you are going to make the phylogenetic tree. Now come back to the Mega 11 software here. So in order to make the phylogenetic tree, first of all, you have to perform the multiple sequence alignment among these sequences. So for this, just click on this align button in the Mega software and click here edit or built alignment now you have to click that is create new alignment click here and click on the ok now he the software is asking that are you building a dna or protein sequence alignment so as i told i have taken the nucleotide sequence so means we are going to building a dna alignment so just click on the dna and now you have to import the file to this software you can either copy or paste the sequence or you can also import the file. So for importing the file, just click edit and now click this insert sequence from file. So as you click here, so it will ask where the file is. So that file is in my downloaded folder. So I'm going to that one and now just select that file and click open. Once you click open, so the file is imported to this software. So you can clearly see the sequence is now here. So this is in the colorful manner like GR in the purple, C is in the light blue color, A is in the green and T is in the light pink color. 
So now in order to perform the multiple sequence alignment, first of all you have to select these sequences. So in order to select just click in the first sequence and now in order to select other, press the shift button of your keyboard and click on other sequences like this. So this sequence will be selected. Now after selected the sequences, just go to this alignment tab and here choose the option aligned by cluster W. So once you choose, so now the new window will pop up and you just click the OK button. This entry should remain as by default and just press OK. And now the sequence has been aligned or you can see the multiple alignment has been done. So now in order to make the file identity tree, first of all you have to save this file to your system. So in order to save or export this file, click this data tab and here there is an option that is export alignment and export the alignment in the mega format. So click the mega format. It will ask the location. You can save the file anywhere you want like I am going to save on my desktop and just you can give the name for the demo purpose. I am giving the name demo phy means demo phylogenetic tree. Click save. It will ask again. So again I am giving the same name that is demo phy means demo phylogenetic tree and press the OK. It is asking that protein coding nucleotide sequence data. So no, this data is only the nucleotide data, not the coding data. So that's why you have to click on the no option. So now the file has been saved. You can now you have to make the phylogenetic tree. So you can either close that window or minimize that window. So now again come back to home screen of this mega 11 software here in order to make the phylogenetic tree first of all you have to click on the option so there are many ways of making the tree but the best one is that is phylogeny so just click on this phylogeny button and as you click there are many options that you can either create your tree by using maximum likelihood method neighbor joining method minimum evolution tree or UF, UP ZM tree. So out of these, the neighbor joining is considered to be the best one. So just click here. As you click, it will ask for the file which I just saved on my desktop, the file which contain the sequences out of which you want to make the file identity tree. So this is the sequence file. Just click here and open it. Now the file is in your software. So in order to perform the phylogenetic tree now first of all just click the file here and this button you have to only select the sequences you can clearly notice that this name and this sequence one is also selected you have to deselect it otherwise the software will show the error so just deselect and select only the sequences like i am selecting only five sequences so after selecting only five sequences you can minimize it now again go back to this phylogeny option and choose the method that is construct test neighbor joining tree and would you like to current active data? Yes, we would like to use the current data which we just selected now. So just click on yes. Now a new window will open in this, this the test of phylogeny it's important thing that you can either change it interior branch test or bootstrap or none. So this bootstrap method is considered to be the best one and after selecting it you have to choose or you have to give the bootstrap value. So for those who do not know what the bootstrap value is, so bootstrap value means that if it is 100, so it will compare the sequences with each other 100 times after giving you the result. So you can say that bootstrap value gives you the confidence that the result which are coming they are most appropriate result. So you can choose either number from starting from one, but for the best result, you have to keep this number at thousand. Now all these options, they should be remain as it is. Now just click OK. As you click OK, it will take a little bit time and after that it will construct a tree for you. So now as you can see the tree has been constructed. So this is the tree. and these are the these are those five sequences first 
second, third, fourth and fifth. This is the accession number of sequences like these and this is the detail of that sequences like which uh, what are these sequences and this is the percentage identity among them. In the left corner there are certain editing options in this software available also by which you can edit your tree and make it you can say more attractive and you can also change this label by just clicking double click and option will be available so you can either delete it give the name as you want so by clicking double click on any name you can edit it and in the left corner there are certain option like for example in the layout option this option is the tree style by which you can change the layout of this tree like for example if I click here and choose from these this is the rectangle t if I choose the straight one so you can notice that the layout of tree has been now changed now again another option that is curved so again the tree is now in the curved form and rectangular form so this is the traditional method which you usually seen like that is a rectangular one similarly you can also label here branch length by clicking the option that is branch length as you notice as i click on the branch length so the other labels comes here so you can either keep them or just remove them by clicking here you can also increase the height and width of this tree by this option that is tree height if you increase it so as you notice the tree height is increasing and this is the tree width by changing it as you can clearly see the tree width is changing so you can choose these parameter according to your preferences and there is option that auto size tree by clicking here the tree will be auto sized like this now as you can see the tree is auto sized so these are certain options there are other options also which can which you can explore by yourself so this is the tree generated by the mega 11 software and if you want to download this tree in your system so for this just go to this image tab here it will show the many option that you can save this as a bmp file as a pdf as a png and other options are there so if you click as a pdf so just click here and now it will ask you for the file for example i am giving the again the same file that is demo phy and just ok it's saying the file name is uh, not spotted but you can click here and save as these files and if you want to just copy it so copy here that is copy clipboard so by clicking here the phylogenetic tree is now copied so you can paste it anywhere where you want so this is all about the mega 11 software by which you can make the phylogenetic tree so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much